Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel, called, Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. By discovering wireless electricity, any scientist would rob the world oligarchy of money. There is no need for oil, wood, coal, gas, expensive hydro and power plants, one receiver can endlessly create energy virtually out of thin air. Financial magnate, Morgan, instantly stopped funding Nikola Tesla's experiments when he came up with wireless power transmission and the extraction of energy out of nowhere, from the world's ether. After that, no one helped Tesla financially. The solidarity of the financial tycoons turned out to be like that of the thieves in the law. Archaeologist Liana Suvalidis and her team stumbled upon a huge ancient royal burial complex in the Egyptian oasis of Siva. The inscriptions inside were made in Greek by Alexander the Great's closest friend and associate, Ptolemy Lagos. He buried Alexander at the place indicated by him, and a pseudo-tomb was made in Alexandria for worship. Sensation. Should we investigate further and try to find Alexander's body? Egyptian officials think otherwise, they broke the contract and prohibited any work on the site, and the Egyptian scientists simply ignored the inscriptions found. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Scientists reliably know, that 6,000 years ago, the Sahara was teeming with bodies of water, rivers, lakes, cities, and trees. Looking at medieval maps, it begins to seem that scientists are somewhat confused about the dating. Up to the beginning of the 18th century, Africa was blooming and smelling, verdant with forests and fields, and apparently unaware that, according to historians, it had long ago turned into a desert. The stake of the cartographers. Excuse me, this territory over the centuries has been crossed by many peoples, traders and merchants know exactly where they go, and which way they go on the map. The group of copper door handles was found in a 300 million year old coal seam. The find immediately fell into the group of uncomfortable artifacts. Logically, what could be door handles, when the first reptiles walked on Earth and the dinosaurs were tens of millions of years old? A second logical question, how in general could objects get into the coal seams, which are located at a depth of about one kilometer? No matter how you look at it, the artifact turned out to be uncomfortable for both historians and geologists. Mexico and Egypt. Once is a coincidence, twice is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. And if there are too many such coincidences, we can safely ask an appropriate for academic history question. Where are the same roots in the traditions of different peoples? In 2017, excavations in Antwerp uncovered the ruins of the 16th century. All that Reuters gave out. 
parts of the old bridge and city wall will be integrated into the design of the tramway, but much of it will be buried to preserve it intact, before the new road is built over it. Translated into Russian, the find will be carefully buried and concreted. No one asked why the 10-meter walls were covered with mud so that they couldn't be seen. No one is going to dig them up, look for the old city, artifacts, skeletons of buried people. Bury them deeper, get away from people's eyes, and get rid of your relevant questions. In the mid-1960s, a sword of Guojian was found in China from the 5th century BC. The sword is like a sword, were it not for one but two, the sword has a unique alloy, and the scabbard in which it was stored, was fitted so tightly, that it literally created an airtight environment. An alloy of bronze, copper, tin, lead and iron added sulfur. Closer to the center, the blade contains more copper, which increases its flexibility and strength, while the edges have increased tin, making them tougher. A unique creation. A masterpiece which, according to historians, was made with a hammer and chisel, only with a hammer, anvil and horn 2,500 years ago. No decent structure can be built without mathematical methods. Many dams built since 1900 all over the world have a single problem, they crack and fall apart, they regularly have to be either repaired or rebuilt, and entire institutes have worked on them. Could it be that the quality of our education has fallen? Or are today's engineers all hackers and lack the knowledge to build a dam that will stand as reliably as the TB Dam, which has been holding back the river reliably for five centuries? If the love of the ancients for stone constructions is quite understandable, the way of their extraction makes one puzzle. Those traces that remain on the mountains, stone quarries and megaliths, do not give answers to the question, how? Officials are happy to assign these traces as a natural phenomenon. For example, straight flat notches in the mountain that are tens of meters long. Weathered. Collapsed. Hollowed out with a bronze chisel. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.